This morning, the Hardin School District implemented a number of new policies in response to the weekend's possible threat, the first of which that was felt by students, one point of entry. This is Hardin High School's building. The only way in this morning for all students, once they got in, they were then wanded with one of these, both their person and their belongings, and then they were able to enter the building through these doors. The process took about an hour but that's a small price to pay, administration and teachers say, for safety. We have to. We have to. I mean, that is really um, our number one priority, obviously, the education of our students, but we got to keep them safe. Bighorn County Sheriff still do not know the credibility of Sunday morning's social media post that threatened potential serious harm to high school students and staff, so they're taking no chances. Deputies patrolled the halls throughout the day for an extra measure of security. The school district even brought in Storm, a five and a half year old black lab certified to sniff for gunpowder. Is there one more person in there? Anytime a student needs to leave class, even just to go to the bathroom, they have to be escorted by an adult. The biggest change, however, is undoubtedly a new no cell phones policy. Really hard. The kids are so used to the bell rings, they walk out of class, they open their phone because they're in the hallway, they can have it. But so now it's just no phones at all. That's been a real struggle. Superintendent Johnson says the rule is in place to keep communication lines clear and open. But Passes, who's been teaching at the school for 10 years, thinks there's another potential benefit. They really believe that a lot of this is happening through because of social media, because of either TikTok challenges or just communicating on Facebook with, with bullying online. And so just trying to get rid of that. Johnson says he expects the new policies to be in place at least until the end of the week but it could be much longer. You never want an incident like this to happen, but what it does is it allows you, the school, I think, and law enforcement to reevaluate. These are long-term um, solutions to a threat like this. Casey Conlon, MTN News.